Uh, we'll play, I, I, in case you can't make it or something, I'll just, I'll just play a short piece now because um, I don't want to hear it uh, yourselves. But this is um, uh, from Rolf Valin, um, Realismus Magicos. Rolf Valin is a Norwegian composer and he wrote me these sweet and remembered pieces uh, a couple of seasons ago when I was um, making a new sort of recital program. And this is the finale from that uh, um, suite. And the collected short stories of Gabriel Garcia Marquez um, then the titles for all these pieces. So there are, there are very strange titles like Eyes of a Blue Dog or The Handsomest Brown Man in the World. And this particular movement is called Light is Like Water. And uh, yesterday evening one of these mallets broke on me, so I'm slightly hesitant to try and play it again today. Um, let's, let's just see if I can make it through without having an adventure with the mallets. <laughs> <laughs> super glue at the end of the session, it might be great. So, um, the, if you come to the concert floor, you hear these pieces, they're very diverse, and they're all these sort of different sticks and instruments and get many different sounds. Um, and this particular one uses these rubber mallets, which he liked a lot. This particular
So um, I'll take a seat a little further back. But if, if you would um, supply us with a, a brief introduction to what you're playing, I think. Um, uh, say what you're playing. Oh, I'm playing um, Memories of the Seashore by Keiko Abe. Get them to make 
the same standard as your eye. Yes? Yeah. So, um, certain things we get for free on instruments. So, what we really have to dig deep for, because it is not a French horn or a cello, it's not, it's not difficult in that way. But what is very difficult to do on this instrument is to create convincing things that exist uh, in music, familiar things that are discernible to um, uh, a listener, be there an expert or a layperson. And those are things to do with line, uh, shape, and what is sort of um, broadly referred to as phrasing, and musicality is slightly unhelpful terms. But things that basically help you get the music across and give a reason for playing any given piece of music that maybe you want to do. So, uh, <clears throat> what I felt with your performance was that, I mean, this is a bridge still under construction, I imagine, for you. Yeah. It's a piece that you're coming to terms with and learning. Um, I think one of the, the things to do um, with any piece is, is from the very beginning is to take in the whole and to try and understand as much as you can about the structure and the proportions of the piece. So how long is this piece going to be? How do I shape it? How do I make a meaningful architecture? Because um, you probably agree with me that um, when you're listening to a performance of something that works, it is one in which you're not particularly aware of um, such things as they happen. Mm -hmm. You just feel comfortable and you feel that you're being taken in the right place at the right time and by the right time. So that nothing will keep you waiting um, unless you want you know, perhaps the audience to feel that kind of tension once or twice in a piece. And so pieces of music can be all about that. But generally speaking, it's about um, finding the right tempo, the right flow. Um, these, these are sort of general uh, tenets, things that don't apply to absolutely everything, but certainly apply to this piece. So that's why it's going through my mind some of these things. Um, now, I think another, another thing too, is probably not perhaps quite at this stage with yourself, because you believe you're still learning the piece. But ultimately, um, what you should try and do is learn a piece, appraise it, Put as much of yourself as you can into the piece to allow the piece to speak, remembering always that performing is, is always about the music, never about oneself. Mm -hmm. uh, although the music needs you fundamentally yeah. to come into place. So that, that's another thing to, to work out, how that balances. Um, but I think in what I'm to come back to the beginning of this long sentence is that what you have to do is to learn a piece in that way. And then, kind of, as you, as you perform it, kind of forget it. Forget it. Because I believe coming onto stage is absolutely about using your heart. Never involve the head, unless there's specific things you have to address, practical things as a percussionist, um, you know, snap decisions, things like that. Always go with your heart. That should be pure heart. And um, that's a process. It takes a long time. Yeah. You need confidence, you need experience, you need to have a few falls. Falls are good, love a fall, because it gives you somewhere, something to learn from. And you now, as I go around playing, I, I, I feel them coming. Um, you know, I play a concert, and I think, wow, that's, then there's a thing that's great. And that actually kind of makes me nervous, because I think, oh, I, I know what's coming tomorrow. For some <laughs> so, so uh, but the, the good thing is, is that when things happen, then you can learn from them as well. Mm -hmm. So. Never be shy of that. So what I felt with your performance, it, it, it really made me feel a little bit like that, as if you were um, thinking quite hard about what you were doing. Um, now, as I already said, that's perhaps to do with you know, still learning the piece. But what I'd like to do from the beginning again, if you can start it again, yeah, because I think you have confidence in the beginning, is to just try and have a little more of a mellow approach and put a bit more trust in yourself. I always think people um, don't give themselves enough credit for how well they're doing or how well they know a piece. Because you often hear people, I know it's not easy in a situation like this, this funny guy from out of town and <laughs> playing in front of your peers is, 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 a, is, a, is a challenge. But, um, if you can just sort of just mellow into this thing, you know it, you know the beginning, you're not going to make a mess. It's not so challenging technically. I want more from the music, the musical side. Okay. Just Coax it into the room, think of the space. There's plenty of time. Maybe you're going to rush anything. 
but nor do you need to sort of be timid to let the music move. Just find your happy place, <laughs> yeah, in yeah. the room, and start it again. Don't be afraid to do some more challenging soft dynamics because we can we can really hear you very well. It should be very quiet. Right? Okay. Do it's 
some smoke and mirrors, basically, and learning how to get an instrument to, to sing. Often to do with sort of your groove, basically, and where you've, where you've got the time at. So just, just move it along a little bit. Okay. Oh, yeah. I think you can. <laughs> Thank you. 